Hello, we're here from Celadon Lotus video blog and we're super excited about this video today. We have unboxing and reviewing Tulip Dual Tip Fabric Markers. We're going to demonstrate them today on these shoes. And these shoes are simply um, just a pair of white sneakers. They're easy to get anywhere. Um, these were only $5.87. So whatever pair you like that fits you, this pair is a size that could fit a child. It's size one, but you can get, you know, whatever kind that you want. The fabric is a cotton canvas fabric. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Tulip Dual Tip Fabric Markers. This particular box comes in permanent primary four colors, red, green, blue, and black. What's nice about it is that it comes with a fine tip and a brush tip, depending on what you're doing. It says right here on the back, no heat required. Allow color, apply color to fabric. Let it dry for 24 hours. It is machine washable and it's best on white and light colored fabrics. What I like to do is a lot of these, even though they are machine washable, what I like to do is to spot clean with like a little um, t uh, spot fabric. So that's what I like to do. So let's get started unpacking these. go. Here are the markers. And on the package they've got some neat stenciling designs. Give you some creative ideas on some of the things that are possible. I'm going to put this package aside. The markers themselves as well have some really neat patterns on them. Flowers and swirls, sun, fish, what I've done is I did some sketches on my own of some things that I'd like to do with the fabric markers. I just did some flowers with some leaves. I was in the mood for just, just keeping it simple. I just thought that would be the best approach. So I'm going to put this drawing aside. I just did a simple flower type design. I bring in these sneakers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox the sneakers. Take off the tag on these just to separate them. These are the Faded Glory. start with this one first but it doesn't matter which one you start with and with the colors I've decided to make the petals blue and red the stems green and I'd like to use the black to outline it for extra emphasis so I think I'm gonna 
I'm going to get started on this. Start here, just simply using the fine tip end to create the petals of our flowers. Very pretty. What I like to do when I'm doing these things, I try not to overthink it. Just do what comes from my heart. Because in that way, I always come up with the best results. One that I'm the most happy with. These markers also remind me of very good for writing names on the insides of t-shirts or bags that you don't want to get lost. If you have any outfits such as team or sports teams, this would be a great option. Here are the flowers. All over, and this is using the fine point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side for the thicker size point and see how this is gonna work on here. This is more of a paintbrush Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sketch in some of the, some of the green, some of the leaves, and again, just going by the post-it that I used, just going really simple with the leaves. One pretty design element would be to make a petaled flower. So 
such a pretty technique. Color it in a little bit darker. Then one final touch that I like to do with a lot of these, I like to take the black and just reinforce the lines. I like using black a lot because I like the simplicity with black. nice about the tips of these is you can really get the effect of something being brushed on of it being almost a paintbrush technique whereas it feels more like a paintbrush than a marker and that's more of what we're trying to achieve is a brushed on look, but yet you still have the control of a marker. And I'm using the fine point on the black. And I imagine too, that these would be very good even to use as a permanent marker in place.
here we go. Here's the completed shoes drawn to look like a watercolor using the tulip fabric markers. Here's the original box. Here are the markers with the paintbrush tip, the fine end, and it's just beautiful. Here's the finished look with both shoes. Different flowers, some petals around the laces, and it's just beautiful to personalize however you like. Well, everybody, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Please give us a thumbs up. We'd love a comment in the comment section, and please subscribe to our social media. Thank you.